Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another brand new PNSO figure that has just recently released, and in fact, this is the most recent PNSO figure, I do believe. This is Aiden, the Cretoxy Rhina, and you can see as far as the box art goes, we have a really beautiful image of the shark here on the front of the box, as well as, again, the PNSO logo, and of course, the species name. If we turn it around, we take a look up here at the top. Really nice image there as the shark is quite clearly heading for us. We would probably want to get away from that area as quick as possible. But we do also have Every Life Deserves Your Respect. Again, the PNSO logo right there. And then, of course, the same thing here on the other side. We do have another alternate image of the shark figure over here. And this, of course, has some more PNSO information and the logo and dream and vision for children down here underneath. The underside just has your standard as far as PNSO information goes. So let's pop this out of the box and check it out. As per usual, we have a really nice booklet that is always included, giving us some information on our Cretoxy Rhino, as well as lots of images. And straight away, we could see a really nice image right there of the figure. I love the fact that they've released a Cretoxy Rhino because it's the very first one to enter my collection, so that's really awesome if you ask me. Another really nice image right there. As we continue along, we pretty much have a photo shoot at the beginning of these booklets, actually through most of the booklet. As far as the PNSO booklets go, we usually have a really nice photo shoot of the figures. Here's some really cool uh, basically recreations of fossil findings of the Cretoxy Rhino, as well as... Basically, what we know of the skeletal reconstruction, which we can quite clearly see, is not very much. And then we continue along here. We take a look at the tooth, as well as the teeth in general. Basically, what the jawline would look like there. And then we have a really nice looking image here. That is beautiful. Absolutely love that PNS. So, as always, delivering the goods when it comes to artwork. And then, of course, the same thing is going to continue on. We have all kinds of really cool information and everything throughout the course of the booklet. Again, I don't want to run through the entire thing. It's something that's awesome that you get to check out when you purchase the figure. But we do have some awesome artwork that can go on display in your collection, and I'm pretty sure it's the same image that we just saw inside, but now in a giant poster form. And, oh, I actually could be wrong about that oh wow that's really really nice looking that is beautiful artwork as always i don't think i'll ever get a different reaction when it comes to pnso artwork than just completely being blown away every single time and if the light would stop glaring on it you could see that this looks just gorgeous boy the light is really disastrous on this one but there we go we can see how beautiful that artwork is again a very nice looking image of the Cretoxy Rhina here as it heads on in and grabs itself a meal. Beautiful, beautiful poster as always. But of course, the one that everyone came to see is the Cretoxy Rhina figure itself. And I must say, I am continuously impressed and blown away with PNSO lately. This is another instance where the figure is way cooler than I expected it to be. Like, I thought initially, I don't know why, I don't know if I again, just like with the recent Himalaya source, if I just didn't look at the you know, promotional images well enough, but I thought it was more of a grayish figure, very similar looking to a great white shark, but it is not at all. It's honestly almost like a bronzish type of a look for the majority of the figure, and boy, does that ever give it a striking appearance. That is so insanely cool looking because of the coloration that they've chosen, that bronze color. It honestly shines so nicely, and that's definitely a standout model right there in any collection because this coloration for the shark is really going to draw people in to, you know, take note of it. That is a very nice choice as far as coloration goes on the part of PNSO, but the sculpt itself as well looks really, really nice. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see the head sculpt looks great, pretty much exactly as you would expect when it comes to a Cretoxy Rhino, as well as in general a PNSO figure, because they always give you the highest of quality sculpts in every model they release. That is no different with this gorgeous looking shark, and you can see that as far as the sculpt goes. Again, we have the shark with its mouth sculpted open. It does not have an articulated jaw or anything like that. The mouth is just completely open all the time, and I love that aspect of this model because I don't always need an articulated jaw, and the mouth honestly looks so nice. You can see the teeth are all sculpted individually, and they're all painted really nice, very carefully, and then the fact that the mouth is so small causes the inside of the mouth to look really dark, so it honestly looks like it doesn't just go inside there and end. It looks like as this 
approaches us, you are about to be eaten by this shark. All right, you can kind of see the inside of the mouth. There we go. If we turn it, you can see that there is some really nice detailing inside the mouth itself, as well as some beautiful paintwork. They have used a very realistic tone of color inside the mouth and applied some really nice difference in color in there as well to give it a very realistic look but you can see that as far as the sculpting of the head goes again we have some really nice structure throughout the course of the figure you can really see basically like the skull shape and the bone structure of the shark underneath of course what we have here for this beautiful skin detail and you can see that the skin detail as well is really nicely done very fine looking texturing throughout but it looks great, and that coloration is just so mind-bogglingly nice. The eye is sculpted quite nicely, painted with a black coloration. It does sport a bit of a glossy look, but in general, the entire shark kind of has a shine to it, similar again to the Himalayasaurus, where it was very shiny, and you didn't really notice how awesome it looked until you got it in a nice light. That is exactly the same way this Cretoxy Rhino looks, and you can see the nostrils sculpted out up here on the tip of the snout. And I love that we have this bronzish color, but it also transitions to a really dark tone of color that kind of follows along the edge here of the bronze before it transitions to the white. It's a very dark tone, and that runs the entire course of the figure the entire way down. And it looks really neat because, again, it gives it some alternate color variation, but just in general adds a nice element of flashiness, but in a nice, very realistic way. You can see the gills are also sculpted really nicely, and although it might be a little hard to see, there are actually some pinkish tones there on the insides of the gills, again adding yet another element of realism to the figure. You can also see as we move up here, the dorsal fin is very nicely sculpted and also sports some really nice detail. I love that you can kind of see like some slight creasing going on here along the edge, as you can see that the fin has like a slight turn, kind of creasing the skin right there. That looks really cool. Again beautiful very fine texturing to the shark throughout the course of the entire figure the fin down here also looks really nice you see more of that detail running along the edge of the fin again beautiful very vibrant coloration added to this shark and as you come up here into the stomach region you can definitely see that it is a very nice very healthy looking shark very well fed so you can see some girth to the animal as you continue to move along again the brighter white here on the underside kind of transitions away for the most part, but you can see it a little bit down here on the bottom part, just a little hair of it down here that runs along, you know, the remaining area of the underside of the shark. And I also love that even though the, you know, white here is on the underside, you still see more of that bronze on the fins down here on the underside, but you can also see that again, the texturing and structure to the figure looks really nice as you run along the entire course of the figure. Just turning it here in the light really shows off how beautiful it is. And then we move out into the tail fin of our Cretoxy Rhina, and you can see again that the tail fin looks really nice. We have some very nice imperfections running along the course of the outer edge of the tail, which adds another element of realism. You can also see some darker tones that show up here and there throughout the course of the figure, so it's not like it's just one solid bronze. And in fact, the entire upper side you can kind of see darkens really nice and very realistically as you lead up toward the top, and of course lightens the more down into the body you get, again before darkening here, before transitioning to the white underbelly. The underbelly also sports some beautiful detail throughout. You can see some very nice kind of creasing and indents and stuff throughout the course of the skin here on the underside. It genuinely looks like it has that soft feel like you would feel on the underside of a shark, which looks really nice and, again, very realistic. You can see how beautiful the head sculpt looks over here on this side. Again, really nicely painted eye. You can pick out the nostrils. The mouth looks gorgeous. Lots of skin detail. As you can see here, kind of like bends and folds and stuff as you move back into the gills. You can really see the pink there and the gills on the underside right there. So you can definitely pick up on how nice that looks. And you can again see it here. If we turn the figure a little bit, you can see that the actual detail within the gills looks really nice, but is also again painted with a pink in there. And just like the other side, the detail looks phenomenal throughout. There's not any type of a drastic difference between the appearance on this side compared to the other side as you can see that there is a slight turn to the body of the shark but it's not anything major that's going to cause any type of a significant difference in sculpt over here compared to the other side you can see the fin looks really nice over here there is a bend here but I think that's just some warping due to it being in the packaging and kind of pushing on that area so I could probably you know either leave it this way or it might actually just bend itself out over time or I could of course hot water cold water trick that so that it go back to its original form but you can also see that again the actual 
texturing to the skin honestly looks beautiful throughout you can really see how nice and how fine that texturing is but it's not again just like with the himalaya source and like i've mentioned numerous times with this Cretoxy rhino review you can't really tell just how nice it is until you let the light hit it and then you can pick up on how incredible the actual detailing of the skin is on this shark again really nice looking as you run out into the tail fin of the shark so this is a gorgeous looking figure overall i am again beyond excited to have a cretoxy rhino in my collection because i do not have any at all and i'm even more so excited to have one from pnso because it instantly would be the best version of it even if i did have some prior but I really love this one, again, not just because it's a Cretoxy Rhino, but also because of the really cool coloration they've used, making it easily one of the most striking sharks in my collection. Now, a few things to kind of take note of when it comes to this figure is, for one, you can see it's actually pretty small. Compared to most PNSO figures, it's definitely on the smaller side. Now, they do have some, of course, aquatic species that are a little smaller than this, and uh, there's not many unless you count the minis but it's definitely one of the smallest in general pnso figures that they have released and another interesting aspect about this model is it's the first time in quite some time we've had a release from pnso that did not include those kind of peg stands or at least my set here did not have them i don't know if that is you know the case with all of the figures or if maybe mine was missing it but i'm thinking they just don't have the stands for this one but i guess you don't really need it you could see it stands pretty nicely without them and of course it would help as far as the overall display of it goes but it's not something that is necessary and they have released plenty of figures especially when it comes to aquatic species and stuff like this in the past that did not include those anyway so it's just kind of going back to the previous way as far as releasing some of these smaller ones that don't really need the stands they don't obviously include them with these smaller ones but as far as a size goes again showing you that it is a little bit on the smaller side for a length about seven and a half inches or 19 centimeters and then for a height to the top of the dorsal fin you're looking at a little over two and a quarter inches or around six centimeters maybe a tad bit higher than that but not by much for a size comparison there is mr papo t-rex the attack pack clovisaurus and robert muldoon from the mattel jurassic world toy line our usual review comparison suspects and you can see in comparison to these guys that that shark definitely sports a smaller size and i think that's pretty evident here especially with the mattel figures obviously those are smaller figures so it shows that although the figure is sculpted and painted to the max and looking incredible for the size it is still a smaller size regardless and then for another size comparison here is the pnso Haley caprian as well as of course our cretoxy rhina and then the pnso megalodon and you can really get a good idea of the size comparison between these various pnso aquatic species again giving you a good idea of the fact that this falls in a very similar size range as these figures here i think the Healy Caprian might be the longest of the bunch but if you happen to have any of these other figures here hopefully this will help to show you not only the sheer beauty of this cretoxy rhino but also the size so this pnso cretoxy rhino is yet another fantastic pnso release and a very unexpected one i really did not think that they were going to be releasing this species and in fact i really didn't expect anyone to but i am really happy that they have chosen to release this and pnso seems to be really focusing on a lot of aquatic species lately as they have released a plethora but it seems at this point now they may have taken a small break so we'll have to wait and see what they come up with after this and see if it's you know a dinosaur or if it's some sort of a aquatic species like this i'm keeping my fingers crossed for some prehistoric mammals i would love to see some of those released by pnso but this crotoxy rhina again is the very first figure of this species that I can think of from anyone and uh, definitely the very first one to enter my collection and such a gorgeous version of the species it looks beautiful as far as the sculpt again really nicely done but it's also very beautiful as far as the paint scheme and paint application nothing overly flashy as far as like the design goes but the tones of color they've used are so incredibly flashy and again a real head turner would be this figure as far as the coloration goes but that's something that can really be said for pretty much every pnso aquatic species as they have continued to release very nice natural looking figures for the majority of their aquatic species but always giving them you know some unique individuality and really cool really flashy but really natural looking tones of color this one again sporting kind of a bronzish color was a shock to me but man does it ever look cool on the figure 
And the paintwork, of course, as per usual when it comes to PNSO, is really nice, precise, and perfectly applied throughout the course of the figure. The sculpt, again, is very highly detailed, showing pretty much every ounce of movement that you would expect to see on this animal for the time that you see it here in the figure. You can see as far as like the positioning of the body and everything, everything is perfectly and beautifully sculpted out with the absolute most highest quality as far as detail goes. So this figure is another surefire hit, if you ask me, from PNSO, and a figure that I am extremely happy to add to my collection. So if you are interested in picking this up, I will include a link in the description to where you can do that on the PNSO Amazon store and the PNSO AliExpress store. So make sure you check the link in the description, go purchase this gorgeous Crotoxy Rhina, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.